A Brainerd woman recently took first place in her class in the 2018 World Horseshoe Tournament. With this week's Community Spotlight, our reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Connie Bachman has only been playing horseshoe competitively for five years, and she already has a world-class championship under her belt. It was pretty exciting because there was three tied for first place, so we had to have a playoff, and I won the playoff, so that was really exciting. She got her start in horseshoe when she was 66, playing with a group of friends in Arizona, where her and her husband would spend their winters. I started the group up not knowing anything about horseshoes, and it turned out to be a very big successful group. During a game of horseshoe you can either play with four people or two people. A ringer when you throw the horseshoe around the peg is three points and within six inches of the peg is one point. Since Connie got her start in horseshoe she has traveled across the country competing against and beating players much younger than her. Buffalo, New York and then uh, Topeka, Kansas, Alabama, Utah and uh, South Carolina was the last one. Her family has been there to support her along the way, traveling to tournaments and being her number one fans. She's very successful because she definitely practices. She does her due diligence, so she should be winning because she's practicing every day. If I would have started when I was young, I could do a lot better. But because I started at the age of 66, I'm still doing quite well. I'm pretty pleased with how I do. Connie hopes to continue her success at next year's Horseshoe World Championship in Texas, where she will continue to surprise people with her horseshoe pitching skills. With this week's Community Spotlight, reporting from Brainerd, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. More than a thousand horseshoe pitchers from around the world took part in this year's World Horseshoe Tournament. That ended on July 21st. Congratulations. Great job for her. Oh, it's, huh? it's really neat. It's yeah. really cool. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.